Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Check this out. Yeah, we made it to the beach. We are east of Galveston Island on the Gulf in Texas, and this is pretty amazing. People driving by in their Jeeps, and people fishing and swimming, kids playing, it's pretty cool. Kites are flying. Kites are flying. But uh, today we got a project. You know I can't sit still without doing something, so stick around. Let me show you what I got going on here. So yes, we're in the sand. It's a little bit windy, but we're gonna press on. We're gonna put in a cord reel. So you see I got my cord reel down there. I've had it for about a year or so, and just now getting around to putting it in. I'm trying to stay out of the sand. It's really not too bad. It's not terribly windy. Um, I went ahead and got ahead of us. I pulled out the switches and, and everything for the fuel station on the toy hauler. I'm gonna grab 12 volt power right here and feed my switch for the cord reel. This switch right here, let's see. So it's this retract switch. It'll go on the inside of the little hole there. Um, one thing we gotta contend with though, is this little hole down here for the cord to go through. I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna take the bottom out of this and cut a big hole and we're gonna put that cover in. So that'll make more sense. The reason I'm doing this is because that got smoked that got smoked and the reason it got smoked is because of that right there see that broken wire and the corrosion it's heating up that wire too much resistance so i'm going to pull this factory cord out of here kind of like that and i'm going to put new ends on it and make an extension cord out of it um, and get rid of all that garbage but a couple things we have to do to prep I have to pull this box out. Now this is all dead, so I don't have to worry about getting shocked. But I'm gonna pull all that out. The cord reel fits really snug in there. I'm gonna take the bottom out, cut a bigger hole. This wire I was gonna use to get power, but it's kind of thick, so I'm gonna pull it back out. And I'm gonna use something a little smaller. That's a number 10 wire. It doesn't need to be that big. So let's get cracking. Now DRV, they don't put cord reels in this model. I don't know what the real story is. I've heard people say they say that you can't put one in here. I've heard people say that it's just not an option in this model. This is a 2017 JX450. I've seen other places put cord reels in here. So we're going to put one in. Uh, we're going to make it work. Yeah, I don't know why they say that, but they just do. Okay, hopefully you guys can see in here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this box out first and uh, get it out of my way. Hey, one thing about the sand, it's soft. Get all these adapters out of the way that I don't even need. Like I said, this is all dead, so we're just gonna loosen everything up, pull all the wires out, get rid of this box, and we should be uh, ready to go. So the sound you hear behind me is the ice cream man. Apparently there's ice cream trucks on the beach here in Texas. We get a little uh, honking horns and all that kind of stuff. So let's get this thing tore apart. Here we go. Okay, simple enough to remove. Get the ground wire off back here. Maybe. There we go. Okay, now, I get these two clamp screws loose. They seldom tighten these things up, these RV manufacturers, so. They're usually pretty loose, like this one. Okay, much better. Now let's get this thing off the wall and uh, we'll be ready to take the bottom out.
There we go. Success. Okay, step two is we're gonna pull this bottom out. And I know there's a couple of screws in here. I'm not sure how many, but we're gonna pull, I gotta pull this off from the bottom first. So let me do that first. Okay, so down here, this is that cover and it's gotta come off and I took the screws out and then I had to uh, take a razor knife and go along it like this to break this, uh, this stuff loose. But you can see it's, oh, there we go. There we go, and get it by hand. So you can see all that sealant that's under there, it's gross. I'm just gonna throw that right there, get it out of my way, cause I'm gonna cut the bottom of this out. It's just wood, so that's gonna kinda go away. Jeez. Get them out of the way. I see two of them right here. There's one. So I am gonna go ahead and take this door out. And I got these plastic scrapers. Go, there we go. There we go, okay. I'll dismantle this whole coach before it's over with. At least it'll feel that way. Thank goodness for power tools. Take these little curved plastic blocks out and get them out of my way. Here we go. All right. That was easy. Okay. Piece of cake. Back in here, we've got sealant pretty thick. So I'm going to cut that. It's just a chunk of silicone. Ugh, and we'll try to clean it up. All right, success. Whew. As I jumped ahead a little bit, I got the floor redone, got the new door in. I'm gonna come back and, and seal this up and, and paint it so it looks good. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the cord drill put in for now. I can take this door back off from the bottom and, and clean and seal all this up. I'm gonna wire this directly into the cord reel first, and then I'll pick it up and set it in there and push the wire back. The manufacturer just runs the cord over the top of the frame, which I guess is okay. The frame's rounded on both sides, so it shouldn't hurt the wire. I okay, got it all wired up, just like that. I'm gonna put the cover back on. Tina and Maggie were down playing in the water, it looks like, while Dad's working. What a shame. That's all right. <laughs> Oh man, we're almost done with this project, and that's one more thing I can take off my list. All right, we got power. Got a light there. The core rail wants to work. Looks like it's winding up backwards, so I might flip that. Oh, actually, no, it's doing right. Okay, so I'm going to set it up in here. I'm going to screw it to the back, place up the wire, put that back together. I went ahead and got my connections made. I love those Wago connectors are so easy i'm gonna get some tape and tape these though because they're not waterproof and this is grimy so i don't know what kind of crap's getting up in there but uh besides that i think it looks pretty good so here we are weeks later i got the cord reel job complete I had to uh, wait a little bit to get some of the final painting and stuff done. Uh, the weather just wasn't cooperating. But here we are, we're in beautiful South Dakota. Check this out. It's all done. All done, I painted down there. I got a little paint on the door, but I don't think it's gonna matter. And it works great. Just like advertised. So, we're really happy with it. And it turned out great. So it's Sunday, early afternoon, and all the weekenders are packing up and leaving. So tomorrow it's gonna be super quiet. But tomorrow we're gonna to head up to Ellsworth Air Force Base. And we're gonna stay at FAM camp up there for a few days, finish up some uh, business around town, and then we're gonna to head to Goshen, Indiana for the Alliance Rally. So if you're gonna be at the Alliance National Rally in Goshen, we'll be there. We'll be doing uh, fire suppression. So if you're gonna be there, Put it in the comments below and we'll see you there. 
Well, that wraps up the cord rail job. I'm so glad I took the time to install it. It's just so much better than trying to wrestle with that heavy 50 amp cord. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and invest in one of the Watchdog surge protectors. I'm gonna hardwire that in up front by my solar equipment. So that way I don't have to mess with the uh, pedestal. My 50 amp surge protector was ruined by that bad wire. It actually melted the surge protector. So we're gonna get rid of that and get a new one. But that's about all I got for you today, guys. If you have any questions or if you've ever installed a cord reel in your RV by yourself, let me know. Comments down below. And until next time, safe travels. Bye.